Good morning, everybody, and happy March. We've got several things to cover today during Interwatch. Uh, we're going to go uh, introduce a, a new, less lethal weapon system that the Wichita Police Department is using. We'll also go over a robbery that occurred yesterday, and then a home accident involving a two-year-old uh, that occurred yesterday as well. So first, we'll talk about this less, less lethal weapon system that we have. Recently, the Wichita Police Department acquired and deployed out into patrol less lethal weapon systems. The Wichita Police Department recognizes the sanctity of life and the goal of this new tool is to provide potential less lethal outcomes to very dangerous situations. The Chief is going to come up and talk here in a minute about the system and why we have implemented them, but first I wanted to provide information on a case from last week when the new system was used. On Tuesday, February 21st of 2017, officers were dispatched to a residence where a 39-year-old male was suicidal and was sitting in a backyard of a home with a kitchen knife to his neck. The officers were very concerned for this individual, obviously, and his safety. With the determination of having a good outcome to this situation, it was decided to deploy the ALS TAC-40 less lethal weapon system after trying to talk to the subject into putting the weapon down failed. The use of this tool allowed officers to take the male into protective custody and transport him to an area hospital to receive mental health treatment. The media has been invited after this briefing to go see the new system and how it can be a useful tool. Now I will turn it over to the Chief. Chief Ramsey. Morning everybody. Thanks for being here. Um, you know, so as, as Nikki said, uh, recognizing the sanctity of life is a priority for the Wichita Police Department. And uh, you know, while when I got in police work in the early 90s, I would have thought by now that there would have been a tool available to us that could uh, successfully incapacitate someone without uh, killing them. Unfortunately, you know, the technology hasn't advanced as much as we'd hoped, but there are new tools that are coming out, such as, as Nikki mentioned, the, uh, which this tool is essentially a weapon that shoots out a foam round or a sponge type round out of a 40 millimeter uh, launcher. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at alternative alternatives to bullets. Um, we don't want to take lives if we don't have to. Obviously saving lives and, and recognizing the sanctity of life is our priority. Uh, in summer of 2016 we introduced uh, beanbag round uh, shotguns to all of our supervisors and deployed those in the field. Um, last spring I asked that we begin, begin testing the foam round uh, 40 millimeter launchers at the department which we tested through last year and then began training all of the field staff which is about 60 people um, on the foam rounds in the fall. The incident that Nikki talked about uh, the staff had been trained in the use of that uh, 40 millimeter and had just received the gun two hours prior to that call and it obviously could have been much different um, if we didn't have that tool. Uh, we've, uh, we've ordered and purchased uh, eight of them. Uh, currently we have four. There is a backlog and we're waiting for the four others to arrive. You know, it's not an alternative to volatile and fast-moving situations, um, but it is another option for our staff to use. We've been focusing a lot on creating time and distance and using time and distance to our advantage in uh, situations when feasible and obviously have been focusing on uh, our use of force and doing what we can to minimize it. The, we also tripled the number of negotiators we have on the department uh, to help talk through uh, those volatile situations. But you have to remember that our officers have a very tough job. They face uh, uh, volatile situations, uh, and they have to make split-second decisions in, in harrowing situations that very, very few people can relate to. So, uh, you know, our officers have a very tough job, and there, there are situations where um, deadly force is going to happen, but we want to make sure that we're training them and giving them tools uh, to use for uh, situations where uh, these can be used. So uh, I'm excited for you to go out and see how these systems work at the range today. I appreciate your, your coverage and interest in that. And again, it's our focus to uh, give our officers more tools uh, in their tool belt. So thank you. Anybody have any quick question, question or two? No, you said sure. tripled the number of negotiators. 
Can yeah. You tell us how many and why they're so important. We went from three to nine. Um, they're important because they have additional training on top of what office, your your regular patrol officers receive on dealing with people that are in crisis and in those volatile situations where weapons are involved and, and danger is very much heightened. Are other cities using this new weapon system and how cutting edge is it? Yeah, uh, so beanbag rounds have been around for probably 20 years. The foam rounds are, are newer. Um, I recently read an article from last summer where there was about 20 uh, departments that were trying them out. Uh, you know, my goal is to further expand them. I would like, uh, right now it's just the supervisors that have access and the training on them. But uh, my goal is, with the success that I've seen, is I'd like to expand it even more. Um, finance, you know, buying these guns is, is uh, part of the issue, buying more. How much does that cost? Uh, I want to say two to $3,000. <laughs> Lieutenant Halloran at the range will be able to give you the exact dollar amount. But uh, they're fairly, sp fairly spendy. Okay. Thanks. Yep. All right, just a couple of interwatch items uh, to go over today. We'll talk about the robbery that occurred yesterday. That's under case number 17C013448. 17C013448, a robbery in the 400 block of North Oliver. And this occurred on February 28th at approximately 8.55 a.m. On February 28th at 8.55 a.m., an employee reports opening up the quick cash located in the 400 block of North Oliver, when she was confronted by an unknown suspect who ran up behind her and forced her to the ground at gunpoint. The suspect zip-tied the employee's hands behind her back and took money from the business. Loss is an undisclosed amount of cash. The suspect entered the business by cutting a hole in the roof and then exited out a door, or a back door. The suspect description is an unknown black male, approximate age of late 20s, Five foot nine and thin build. The suspect was wearing a black ski mask, a black thigh length coat, dark khaki pants, and he was armed with a black semi automatic handgun. If anyone has any information on this case, please contact investigators or crime stoppers. Again, we are looking at seeing if there's any surveillance video to put out, and uh, if we will, then we will definitely get that out as soon as possible via social media. That I don't know. I'm not sure how he was able to obtain access to the roof. Okay. A quick safety advisory for you guys. There was a home accident yesterday under case number 17C 013480. 17C 013480 in the 7100 block of West Shade. It occurred 1030 yesterday morning. The mother of a two-year-old male called 911 yesterday to report that her son possibly ingested some chemicals, possibly being laundry soap, and was extremely sick. Medical personnel and the police arrived and the child was transported to an area hospital for treatment of the overdose. We wanted to take this moment to tell all of you parents, family, babysitters of small children who walk around your house to make sure to properly store out of the reach of children all materials that can be harmful to them. This includes medication, cleaning supplies, personal products such as hairspray and soap, paint, and even liquor. We want to remind everybody that accidents only take seconds to happen, and these accidents can be avoided if we take a little bit of time to baby-proof our houses. Okay, that's all I have today. We'll see you guys at the range. Thank you.